hello my friends and welcome to the channel um in this one i'm going to show you how you can create custom um, code snippets for your setup on visual studio code okay so um basically the reason why you may need to create visual um a snippet is like when you build projects right i'm sure that there is a block of code that you often use um it's very similar to what emmet does okay so with emmet you can you know do a lot of stuff with you know writing your code fast um you know but when you build your project i i am kind of certain that there are like different blocks of code that you use across different projects so you can actually you know create a snippet that makes it easy for you to actually write those code okay so let me show you how you're going to do that so first off make sure you have visual studio code open and just come to view and click on command palette okay so the shortcut for that is Control shift p okay then I want you to search for user snippets. So it's under preferences, okay? And I'll just click on this, all right? Uh, okay, that's not what um, I wanted to happen. So I'm gonna do user snippet one more time, right? And I'll click on this and it should give me an option, yes. So I think my mouse actually double clicked. So this option, right, is it's going to list out the different languages, okay? That's because you can create snippets in, like, all the languages available. You can create snippets for CSS, JavaScript, JavaScript React, and stuff like that. So, but the first one I'm going to do, like, the easy one, I'm going to create a snippet for JavaScript. So what you just need to do is to click on this JavaScript.json, okay? So I'll click on that, and this is the page that opens up. Now uh basically there are just three pieces of information you need so let me just i'll un comment out up till this point here and i actually do hope you have something like this if this is the first time you are using this feature so i'll uncomment this out and then i'll copy it and comment it out back now let's come to a new line and paste that in okay so now what do we have here now basically we have a First of this is like a description of the general an object that contains the you know content of your snippets. So this is print to console. So I can just leave it like that because actually what I want to do is to print something to the console. And then the prefix is the word that when you type and hit the tab key will generate that code for you. Okay? All right, so that's that's the prefix of course the description let me come down to the description is just simply what your um, snippet does so this description is fine it says logs log output to, the, to console okay so that's actually fine now but what is important is the body of the snippet so as it is now you see that this is like an array right i'm going to get rid of okay i, I need that i'm going to get rid of all of this and I'll get rid of this as well, okay? And then I can bring this to same line as the body, okay? So because it's just a single line, console.log, I'm going to remove this as well, okay? Because it's just a single line, I'll go ahead and save this. So just look at it very well. Console.log is what we want to actually, you know, print out on the screen. The prefix log is the word that when we type out and hit the tab key, Will generate this body console.log and this description is just a description doesn't do anything okay so i'll go ahead and save this file and i'll go to my script.js file okay and i wonder why that actually closed i had it open before so this is my script.js file what i'm going to do is i'm going to type out log and i'll hit the tab key and you can see we have console.log all right that's the first straightforward example now I'm going to use styles.css to uh, show you a like a more complex example. So I would do Control Shift P to open my palette, and I will select the user snippets, and then I'll go to CSS.json. So that's the language I want to create the snippet for. I'll click on that right, and once again I'll go ahead and grab this guy. Okay, I'll comment it, uncomment it, copy that and then come to a new line and paste it in now let me show you what i want to achieve what i want to achieve is i want to um let me see 
okay i don't exactly have it already typed out in my css but i'll type it out in the um, css.json so what i want to do is i want to create a grid display snippet so i'll say display grid okay not grid but grid and then what i want to the prefix or the word that i want to be the um command word is um let's see i'll say grid okay i don't want it to be too long because it defeats the purpose now the css i want to write has a number of lines so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to type out all of those lines in a different um under different um, columns okay quotes sorry so what i'm going to do is it's about uh five lines so i'll just do two three so that's five okay so how do you write your css so first off you're going to call a class so i'm just going to say dot class and then you're then going to open a bracket and at the end you know you know you're going to close the bracket so i'm going to put that there so i'm going to type everything you regularly put on a different line you're going to put it on you know different colons okay quotes sorry i don't know why i keep saying colons so here i'm going to say um display and i'm going to set that to grid okay so that's the first line don't forget that we're going to close that and then on the second line i'll say grid um grid hyphen template columns and i'm going to set that to repeat and this one is going to say auto fit so imagine that i actually had to type this regularly in different projects it's easy for me to just have it you know as a snippet and i'm going to say min max and open another bracket inside of this bracket i'm then going to say 25 rem i'll give a comma and i'll say 1 fr okay so this is how i'll typically you know write out my grid display settings okay then i'll then add a row gap so row hyphen gap and i'll set this to uh 2 rem okay this one i didn't close this one so this should actually be closed with a semicolon i'll set this to 2 rem and then i'll close it and you know what i'm just going to duplicate this because i also need to do column gap so i'll say column gap and that's it so basically what i just did is i put every line of css on like a different line now i can go ahead of course the description is going to be uh grid display snippet or something you can it can be anything it's, it doesn't really matter okay and then i'll save now let's go to our css file right and you know what i'm going to do i'll just say grid which is the prefix we set and i'll hit the tab key and voila let me save that so it can indent so you see we have a class so display grid grid templates column set grid row set, grid column set all i just need to do is to change the class to whatever it is i want so if i say maybe something like services or you know so basically that's how you can create a snippet in any language you want all you just need to do is to specify the language and go ahead and create your snippet so i've showed you how you can create a single line snippet and how you can create a multi-line snippet all right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you are not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this and i want to encourage you to subscribe and to hit the like button on this video all right see you later